Hey everybody, Doug Hippie here from EAC Product Development Solutions with another tip of the week. Today we're going to look at the Surface Remove Tool. Now this came out in Wildfire 4, so if you're using Wildfire 4, Wildfire 5, Creo Elements Pro 5.0 or Creo Parametric, you've got access to this tool. The way it works is this is truly a object and then action oriented command. So you select a surface of what you want to remove, then you go into edit, select remove, and that surface magically disappears. Of course, if you take a look over in the model tree, there's a feature there called remove. So you can always recover in the event that you remove something that you didn't intend on removing. The other thing that I want to highlight here is the ability to gather several surfaces. So as I uh, hold down my control key, I can zoom in on different surfaces and start gathering these as I go. So that's another act, action object oriented situation here. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick through these. And we're just going to talk through a little bit of, uh, we'll go ahead and select remove in this case. And there we have uh, the tool that's about to remove. If I'd like to add more, I, of course, I can just continue on by holding down the control key and then continuing through my selection. Of course, what you're seeing right now is a little bit of a delay lag that's caused by the calculation that has to occur to remove this one. You can always go down to the stop uh, sign down below and pick on that stop sign to stop it. Okay. Once that has been stopped, then you can come over here and continue to collect. Again, pick on that stop sign if you need to and move through the rest of it. You'll see a nice uh, a view of what it's going to look like preview prior to and you can go through and do the remove. So let's take a look at a couple of other features that are relative to this. So this surface remove tool not only works with surfaces on a solid body. So here we've got a solid body. I'm going to select edit remove. It also works on quilts. The cool thing about that is you can just select the uh, edges. So here I'm going to hold down my, my shift key and then I'm going to right click through to gather all my uh, edges on this particular surface. I'm going to select edit and remove. And now I've also done that now to just a simple little quilt. So something to keep in mind when you're using that uh, surface remove tool is it isn't specific to solids. You can also use it for surfaces. Let's take a look at another uh, option that's available here now. Okay, in this case here, I'm just going to go ahead and select uh, this round that wraps around. And we're going to select surface remove. Now, maybe I don't want to have this portion of this round to be out of there. So if I go to options and I say let's exclude this contour right here, I now have the ability to maintain and keep some surfaces, even though they may have been a chain of specific features. So quick, easy access for a person uh, to get that information. Another circumstance that is encountered routinely when using the surface remove tool is when a surface doesn't attach itself down below, like in the case that you have with the small little triangle that you've got here. What that's going to require then are actually two remove, two remove commands. I already did the first one, now I'm going to do the second one and select my middle mouse button to accept that and now I've brought that surface to attach itself down below onto the solid body. Pretty quick, safe, simple and effective. Let's try another one here. This is the same type of scenario. These are routines that you may encounter. Go into the surface remove tool. I now have a situation where I've blocked off my hole. So I go down inside the hole, edit, remove and now the hole has been reopened up from that overlap that was created by the initial remove. So a very powerful tool that gives you the ability to do many different things. One more item before I sign off for the day is also the next solution. So as I uh, go into options here, I can just pick on the next button and it's going to give me another solution. Okay, so if I go back to previous, the other thing that I would like to do is show you that you can also keep those removed surfaces. So in the event that you wanted to hang on to those for whatever reason downstream, I'll go into high wireframe mode. Now you can see that original surface that uh, was brought in has been retained. Play with that surface remove tool a little bit. I've been to several customers recently who uh, weren't aware it existed. Of course, the benefit of, of training will give you exposure to these tools as they come out with the products. This is Doug Hippie with another tip of the week. Thanks and have a great week.